we're going to be doing matrix calculations on our Casio calculator. Pretty straightforward. We're going to go into the run matrix thing here. And then we're going to click this button, which says matrices slash vectors. Now, it should say none. If it doesn't, just click delete all, F2, and delete them all. Now, I'm going to create a new matrix here by pressing execute. It'll ask me what I want. I want a three by three. So, by three. And then it'll come up when I execute it. And then I just type in all of my numbers there. Okay, execute again, and that one's done. And that's saved to memory. We just exit out of that. Three by three. Matrix B, I'm going to do the same over there. Another three by three. Done. And fill in our numbers there. All right, and we're done, and we can exit out of that. And that's, we'll just get out of that window altogether now. All right, now we're going to do all of those calculations in here now. And the way that we do it is by clicking our uh, little option here. And then when we click option, a different MAT VCT comes up. It's not the same, even though it's labeled the same. When I click on that, I get very different options. All right, so I'm going to do matrix. MAT just stands for matrix. Matrix, I'm going to use the alpha key and find the letter A. And that just says matrix A now, which is the thing that we created earlier. Plus, uh, and then matrix, uh, and then alpha B. And that's matrix A plus matrix B. So I've done that first question, tick, tick it off. Moving right along, two times matrix A. So that's gonna be very straightforward again. I can just do two mat alpha A. And you can see that that's two times matrix A, so I can tick that off. Now these next ones are pretty straightforward. If I want to do um, matrix alpha A times um, matrix alpha B, it's just that easy. And then if I want, so that's that one done. And if I want to go the other way, well, I could muck around, but I could just arrow up and edit this original one, just to swap it around. All right, and that's BA. Now, it, it, nothing's really changing here. Uh, now I can do matrix alpha A to the power of three. And you can see we've got our A to the power of three here. And this next question is the first time it really changes the game. Um, now, if I want the, uh, let's just go back a step so you can remember how I did everything. I came in through the options menu. There was an MAT VCT. I clicked on that. And now I've got a determinant here. So I can do the determinant of um, matrix A. Now we've got a determinant of matrix A of zero. What about a matrix B? All right, matrix B has a determinant of negative three. So we might just do Bs instead of As for the rest of those questions. Now the inverse, um, you might go looking for an inverse button, but there's not actually an inverse button there. We're going to do it really, really simply. It's just going to be uh, matrix. We're going to do B. Uh, and then it's to the power of negative one. That's our inverse symbol. And that should give us the inverse of matrix B, something we're not capable of doing algebraically. It's just too much work. And finally, that brings us to the transpose. Uh, if we just go into options, MAT VCT, transpose, TRN, um, and then we're going to do matrix B. And you can see that is the transpose, the rows and the columns have swapped over. All right, those are some matrix calculations on your Casio.